<laughs> oh yeah. There we go. You're on the rim. Cliff side edge. Sick. Wow. This is so great. I wish it wasn't a billion degrees out. Ooh, look, some white dashes. How nice. So try to help me not get lost the whole time. What's up you guys, Forrest here with the FOCO Flow Show and we are here right outside of Zion National Park at the Guacamole Mesa, looking to ride the whole guacamole. It's about 100 degrees here at about three o'clock so we're gonna have a lot of water with us today. Watched a few videos of this area. Excited to get one more ride in. If you've been following along in the channel, in the channel at all, we've been up in Moab getting a bunch of rides in and this is on our way back out of the entire Southern Utah adventure. So I've heard that this place is really tough to navigate. I've got MTB project and trail forks ready to go. We're gonna give it a go. We're gonna have some fun and we're gonna get out there. Find that flow. Guacamole Mesa is located just 30 minutes to the west from Springdale and Zion National Park. It was one of the closest places I could find a ride up on that mesa and a cloudy, dusty dirt road to get up. Like I said, super hard to navigate, but you follow those rock carns and you should be okay. So without further ado, we're going to hop right into all the great things that Guacamole Mesa has to offer. All right. Holy guacamole. Zion National Park in the foreground, whatever the opposite of that is. It. And then we're going to roll out. I see a couple of bike tires. I've got MTB project. I got about two hours to ride and a couple of bike tracks. And then we're going to look for some carns. We're going to go for it. All right, the more I find those, the better off I think we'll be. I think it climbs early. Someone's been up here doing a little bit of work. I watched a BKXC video of this. Didn't even see this much obvious trail navigational beacon. Hey. There we go, a couple of steps down, a couple of steps up, right next to the mesa ledge, but not on the ledge. I don't know how much you can see out that way, but it's kind of the way we came up through no man's land. It was pretty. We got a ledge right here. Woo! Look at that. We got a craggy. Drop it in, drop up, or step up, or whatever you want to call it. Woo! Love that. Oh, getting some exposure this week. Exposure therapy. Captain Ahab, obviously Porcupine Rim and LPS. Even Slick Rock's got a touch of it. And then uh, here on Guacamole Mesa, whatever we're calling it. Mm. Drop! Oh, cool. Look at that. I don't know how much of that you can see. That's sick. And then a hard up. For less of that, I think. But it said it was a good warm-up for what's ahead. We should do it. Right. 
Just riding on the ledge. Sick. Another punch up here, I think. We're off of the salt of the rim. Rim and the loop. And we're connecting through the middle to the main counterclockwise loop. I'll get name descriptions in the comments below. Uh, these little guys. This is cool. Some badlands here. Here, not where we want to go. They meant let's go this way. Looking for a nice way down. Just a huck or a roll. Oh, yeah, okay. Sick. All right, going clockwise on the loop here. See what we can get. Wow, this is just a moonscape. Right, cool little technical roll here. Yeah. <laughs> a fence line kind of lots of ledges shaley rock All right. oh that's cool so much slow speed tech here not a lot of easy miles. <laughs> okay. Punch it up. Little mini J. Look at the Zion. How ridiculous. Little rock tech. Good. Man, I hope you can look up and see. Oh, we get tight in here. Oh, sick. Okay. Oh. Take the shade all day. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. This is so great. I wish it wasn't a billion degrees out. Ooh, look, some white dashes. How oh, nice. So try to help me not get lost the whole time. Love that. Oh, neat. Out on the ridge. Woo! They're up there. That's sick. A little cliffside edge. Sick. Wow. Hope you can see some of this. There's another mesa below this mesa. We'll try to get down to 
the main road. All right. Oh, I would love a free mile or two. Downhill flow? Don't tease me. I feel like I've been... Ah. Ah. It was a tease. More overlooks. Wow. Come on, baby. You know, a little downhill flow. Don't tease me. Just a little. Better than nothing. Six and a half or seven, depending upon how many wrong turns you've made. It's sort of a figure eight that you're gonna wanna navigate, file, follow some tire tracks. That is the outer loop. We left at that trailhead before. Now this is the out and back that connects. What does it connect? The first, <laughs> first trail loop to that loop. I'm gonna put that up in this screen above. I'm gonna work our way back. All right, and instead of going back over, move rocks to the rim. You can kind of stay straight around the next big turn in this ride. This is not out back. This is a little bit different to get us back. More of a straight shot. I don't know exactly where, but I see some more markings. <laughs> All right, there we go. Six, 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 six. All right, you guys, that does it for Guacamole Mesa. The whole guacamole, holy guacamole, it was tough. It was slick rock, it was dirt, it was hard to navigate, but it was pretty darn cool. It was unique, really unlike anything I've ridden on the East Coast and uh, similar but not identical to the Moab stuff. So really grab got out here. It's 100 degrees, so I'm gonna go find some beverages that are not as hot as the water in my pack. If you come out here, bring your water, make sure that you navigate carefully, make sure you have enough water for longer than the mileage you're expecting to ride. It's a great place, but let me know in the comments below, what else in this region do you think we should ride the next time we're out here so we can get out there and find that flow.